This man seems to be perfectly healthy today. However, on a sunny April day just like this one three years ago, Dr. Vijay Mohan's life nearly met the face of death. This is his story. His story about how several key events helped create the amazing recovery. Travel and sightseeing have always been a pleasure for me and my wife. Our uh, last stop of this 15-day trip to the Middle East was Jordan. We had just finished sightseeing one of the seven wonders of the world called Petra. While walking on the slippery marble floor, I slipped, fell forwards and hit my head exactly here. And immediately I realized I had broken my neck because I had a sudden tingling sensation. All my friends who are doctors rushed to help me. I kind of downplayed the seriousness of the injury because I was afraid that they might call the ambulance. So you didn't call the ambulance. Wouldn't people say that's a stupid thing to do? Absolutely. If one of my patients did it, I would call him stupid too. But I had my own reasons to do what I did. I had no idea about the level of competence of the paramedics of Jordan. If they made a tiny little twist to my neck, I would have become a quadriplegic. So I thought I would take destiny into my own hands. So what happened next? So it was a two hour ride to the hospital. They had my x-rays, CAT scan, MRI. The neurosurgeon came, he broke the news. He said, you are having a life and death situation. You have a fracture of the odontoid process and we do not have a single halo fixator in the entire country of Jordan. So I said, what is a halo? Oh, halo is a 20 pound fixator it's fixed onto your skull. It would take three days for the halo to arrive from America. If you remember uh, the superstar Christopher Reeve who acted in Superman, he had a similar kind of fracture, hangman's fracture. It's the same kind of fracture which a person who is sentenced to death by hanging gets. So I became very apprehensive and I couldn't get sleep and that night I saw something like a hallucination. Figures wearing white cloaks and uh, they were dancing with devilish gestures and gesticulations. The next day he experienced another peculiar phenomenon in bed while watching TV. The TV screen had uh, moved up to the ceiling. It's like a 90 degree optical distortion. So I called the doctor, he says, no, no, you are imagining things. I wasn't satisfied, so I called my friend, can you explain? Oh, Vijay, tell the doctor to reduce the weight of the traction. It's stretching your vertebral artery, compromising the circulation to the occipital part of the brain. That's why you're having all these optical distortions. So I immediately conveyed this to the doctor and he reduced the weight by one pound. Lo and behold, the optical distortion was gone. The halo arrived and the procedure began. Because of the nature of the fracture, anesthesia could not be given. In my 70 years of life, I had never experienced this degree of pain. I requested, I pleaded with the doctor, Doctor, please bring an end to my life because I cannot suffer this anymore. At that point, my friend became emotional. He was also angry. He shouted at the anesthesiologist, Don't you have fentanyl? That relieved my pain to some degree. And the procedure was done successfully. Today, he can only move his neck to a certain degree in each direction. Also, there are two scars left on his forehead where the halo fixator was once screwed. In conclusion, I'm an extremely lucky person to have had this miraculous recovery. Now, he draws in his spare time. He will be donating his artwork to the Central Valley American Heart Association and Cancer Society to help benefit the community. <laughs>